Well, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this YouTube video, I'm going to show you guys how to how to downgrade your iPhone 4 to a internal build of iOS 6. So let's get iOS 5.1.1, excuse me. So as you can tell right here, this is an unscripted video that I'm doing because I because of just because I don't really like the scripted feel. But as you can tell, your iPhone 5 4 has to have a model number of A1332 in order for this downgrade to work otherwise you aren't able you won't be able to do the downgrade and what you'll obviously need is you'll need this tool called Parrot Pluvia from Parrot made by Parrot Geek who is a developer and you need you need this version right here and you do not you do not want the this version made for iOS 6.1.6 .6 because that one will not because that one is only for iOS to somehow get iOS 6.1.6 .6 on the iPhone 4. And so, yeah. And so this one right here, this right here is the internal UI, UI IPSW that you'll need. It's a, this file says, this Twitter guy says it's for iOS 5.0. It is actually made for, uh, it is actually iOS 5.1.1. So there yeah, it's in 5.1.1 internal build and Please know that you will have run into lots of errors when doing this, so just keep a lookout for that. And you will also make sure to want to, you know, keep obviously back up your phone if you have any important data on it. And make sure that you have, and what am I trying to say? And please do not go commenting down below saying that you have, you're having an issue with something obvious, with something that I'll probably show you how to fix later on, so. Yes, I never sign back up. So, the first actual step to do this is to go and is to open up terminal and you also want to have system preferences open. You want to go into security and privacy, and because because you're probably going to get a lot of security prompts when doing this, so that's just a way to keep it obvious. So. Now what you'll also want to do is you'll also you'll want to enter DFEMO on your iPhone 4. So in order to do this, you need to hold the power and home button for 10 seconds and then hold the home button for 15 seconds or until Finder detects it. So Oh and I forgot to mention how this downgrade tool now put in the editing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. As you can tell right here, it says it's in recovery mode. It's actually in DFE mode. It says that for some reason. So now you need to just set your phone this side, make sure it's connected. You have to make sure it's connected to your computer in order. Now I'll put that in the editing. So you need to type in CD space, and then you need to drag in your Pluvia folder right here. It should come unzipped once you press it, click enter, and then you want to go type in dot slash restore dot sh, and then you want to locate your file, which as you can tell, this is what it is. Click enter, and then click, yeah, out of here. Get out of your finder, you do not have to restore like that. And you might get some security prompts for this stuff, so you'll just have to start over and then just click open, allow on fine and settings and system term purposes, excuse me, and then try again. So that is basically all that's going on here. And as you can tell, we got I got the retro Apple logo. So thank so no, yeah, one more thing is that once you're finished, here we got the Parrot Geek software logo. One more thing is that once you're finished restoring the software. Once, if you want to go back to stock iOS, you have to enter DFE mode first in order to do it, do it, or else it will fail. And if it still fail, because it will go into recovery mode even after restoring to stock iOS, so even iOS seven, so dot one dot two, so you'll have to go into Pluvia and use those instructions to re to basically get the get your phone's stock software working again. So now I will just sit back and relax, and hopefully we will have an iPhone 4 downgrade to internal build of iOS 5.1.1. Well, if you are like me, you have successfully downgraded, or if you 
if you were able to get it wor working, then you have successfully downgraded your iPhone 4 to the internal build of iOS 5. However, you might be wondering where all the internal UI apps are. Well, in order to turn those on, you have to go down to carrier settings, show internal apps, hit that, hit go home, and just go to the home screen, excuse me, and just like that, boom, you've got all your internal apps. So you can enter, enable a bunch of our other internal settings too, but that's just the gist of it. And if I go into, go back and, first of all, I'm gonna turn Nike plus iPod on, just cause I prefer to have that on. If I go into general and about, as you can tell right here, I was successful. This is in fact iOS 5, an internal build of iOS 5.1.1 that we just downgraded to. So thank you guys for watching this YouTube video. And as always, I am the iTunes fanboy and peace out.